Got involved in when I was seven. Really? So about 16 years. I'm 24 now. Huh. Um, started taking really hardcore about 10 years ago, and professionally about a year and a half. So what actually is a blacksmith? What does a blacksmith, blacksmith do? Blacksmith heats metal and shakes with a hammer. Very cool. How'd you, how did you learn? Is your, is your family... Uh, no, no, no. So um, I saw a blacksmith when I was seven. Uh-huh. Uh, when I was in 12th grade, 13. When I was 13, I was a person with a blacksmith for three years. Master Smith did apprenticeship. Then I took a break and I started doing craft schools mm -hmm. and self-taught. Oh, really? I, a lot of things are self-taught. Watch a video or see a project and go try it home. So you, how hot does that fire get? The fire can be over 3,000. Three, and the metal is around 2,000. So what, what do you, what do you make? What, what, are, what are your specialties? What do you make? I'm really good at fireplace sets. Really? Fireplace shovels and pokers. I'm really good at those. So, so like stuff like this or? Uh, uh, the same process, but I really, I make them differently. I, that's my, it became one of my favorite things to make because one of my first jobs was a very elaborate fireplace set. Huh. But I had to learn how to make it really well. I just, and I just love it. I like them because they evolve a lot of the thumbnails of blacksmith. things. They evolve welding, cutting, bending, twisting. So this, I like projects that evolve, like all the steps in blacksmith. There's a limited amount of things you can do with the metal, but between those limited things, you can make anything. I mean, this, is, is this a is this a, a lost art nowadays, no. or people are still doing the old the old fashioned way? There are still. I like to think, I believe. There are more blacksmiths than there ever were before. Really? Because the information is readily available. Because oh, whereas before you kind of had to learn you had it. To be, you, had to be, you had to be in the guild system, you yeah. had to be an apprentice, and you had to work hard to learn the trade. It was a secret of trade for a long time. A lot of people didn't know, um, didn't know what blacksmiths did. Wow. Favorite example is Excalibur. Mm -hmm. The story of Excalibur is actually a real story. What happened was, the, the sword of the stone, the sword was, the, the stone they used, they pulled the sword out so they used the meteorites. Because meteorites are a good source of iron, but they have other things like nickel and other metals in them. So it's stronger than the iron they come out of the ground. So the blacksmiths, the Merlins were magicians, blacksmiths, they drew a sword out of stone that made a superior huh. sword. Because it had different metals in it. So a lot, if you read about medieval culture, some blacksmiths were feared. People didn't know, like, they went in this room with smoke and fire, and they came up with something, and they came in with a gold with a raw huh. material, and come out. So they were feared. Really? That's why a lot of, other cult, a lot of cultures are blacksmith gods, because it was such a feared trade. And, but nowadays, there are craft schools, videos, books. So there's ways, there's ways to learn. People give lessons all the time, so there's ways to learn. There are not as many of us doing full-time, I don't uh -huh. think, making a living at but more of us than ever were. People hobby us and just tinkering away. My great-grandfather was a blacksmith. Great, where? He was, he was in Italy, he, he was in Sicily, and he came over to America, and uh, his family had a shop in Montclair. Very cool. There's a, race, there's a very famous blacksmith all the blacksmith to look up to. His name is Samuel Yelling. Mm -hmm. uh, he had a shop in Philly. Came over from, I believe Poland. He was a Jewish guy from Poland, a Jewish immigrant. Um, and he became one. He's like became very good blacksmith in America. He does stories that he would go to the docks and watch the ships come in. And he knew who the blacksmiths were. He walked up. He goes, "Blacksmith, yes, here's a paper. You're a Mrs. and that was work." Really? Him. He would. He would go. He could see, tell who the blacksmiths were, give him the paper, making him a sis, and he'd go work in a shop. Huh? So he said, that's what he got as a place. He sat by the docks and watched for the, for the immigrants to come in. So so what so what is your like what do you like what's your name and what do you my 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 tr my blacksmith I my blacksmith alter ego uh -huh. is called the Hebrew Hammer Blacksmith. Okay. I work in a shop for the blacksmith of Trenton. So Where, where's the shop? The shop I work in is in, in, in Trenton, New Jersey. Oh, Trent, okay. I work for the blacksmith of Trenton. The, the oldest blacksmith shop in New Jersey is in Trenton. It's called the blacksmith of Trenton. I work there. Uh -huh. That shop's about 100 and 193 years old. 193? Yeah, it's wow. been there for a long time. It's almost 200 years old. I walked in there when I was 13 as an apprentice. And now I'm one of the headsmiths there. So if somebody wants to get in touch with you or the shop, how would they get? Is it online? You guys online? You know, I have a website. No I, website? I have a website. My personal self has a website. Which, what's your website? Uh, Hebrew Hammer Blacksmith. He, Hebrew Hammer Blacksmith oh, com? Uh, Hebrew Hammer Blacksmith at Weebly.com. Okay, very um, cool. But, um, if you just Google Hero Hair Black, let's go find you. We'll find you, okay. Yeah, I'm not, either you'll get me or the movie, the movie, the, the old comedy movie, the Hero <laughs> Um But um, I work at, for the last two, year and a half, I've been in the shopping trend. Thank you for your time.